In this video we're going to discuss electrical sources and the way we model them in electrical circuits. Voltages and currents are generated from a number of different sources, but we're going to make some, some distinctions and uh, subdivisions among these sources. First of all, we'll distinguish between voltage sources and current sources, and then we'll also make a distinction between ideal sources and real sources. We'll distinguish between constant or DC sources and time varying sources, which are we refer to as AC sources. And then we'll also make a distinction between independent sources and dependent sources. First of all, ideal. An ideal voltage source is a voltage source that produces the same amount of voltage regardless of the load that's placed upon it. So whether there's one amp of current or 100 amps of current coming from the source, an ideal source would have the same voltage. That's not a realistic situation. For example, if you've got a 12 volt battery in your car and you have just the headlights on, the headlights glow at a certain brightness. But if you then engage the starter motor, which draws a significant amount of current from the battery, you'll notice that the lights dim as the voltage at the terminals of the battery drop. That type of a voltage drop under load is, is fairly common in voltage sources. So the way we'll model that is we'll take a ideal voltage source and place in series with it a resistor so that when a load is connected to the battery and current starts to flow, this resistor will model that voltage drop at the terminals. So we have a real source here which is modeled with an ideal source and a series resistor. The distinction between DC and AC is that DC sources provide a constant voltage over time. The voltage isn't a function of time. In an AC source, the voltage will be a function of time. It may be sinusoidal. It could be triangular. It could be a square wave or a rectangular wave. But suffice it to say that AC sources are not constant. And then finally, we make the distinction between an independent source and an ideal or a uh, dependent source. A dependent source produces a voltage that depends upon some other voltage or current in the circuit. So for example, if you have a, an iPod that's producing a very small voltage and you plug it into an amplifier, the output of the amplifier will be a scaled version of that small signal. So the amplifier itself would be modeled as an idea, as an independent source where that output of the dependent source is dependent upon the voltage, the smaller voltage coming out of the uh, iPod itself. So generally speaking, dependent sources will be used to model um, amplifiers and um, circuits that process signals in one way or another. We can make the distinction between voltage sources and current sources. And among current sources, we make those same different, we different, differentiate between them the same way, ideal and real, independent versus dependent, DC current sources versus AC current sources.